All right, the events over the weekend were quite the scene as we did see a tornado report in Davis. Now, a lot was going on there, and many people are asking, what was this? Because we drove along the side of the road and we saw spinning what appeared to be a dust devil. Other people saying, no, it was a tornado. So what is going on? Well, we did see gusts or gust nados. We did see those dirt devils and we did see a tornado. It was all present there and this is what's happening. National Weather Service tweeting out multiple gust nados occurred ahead of the tornado and it was warned around 615 yesterday evening a confirmed tornado reported shortly after. So yes, you may have seen a gust nado. What is that? Well, the gust nados occur at the surface, at the boundary layer of the atmosphere, at the ground level. You're getting a lot of winds picking up there, and you see that circulation. You typically see those on the side of the roadway, even in the summertime, but that doesn't mean it was necessarily a tornado, right? Those dust devils, they spin up and they can get really big, but they are not in touch with the thunderstorm. They're not bringing down any hail. They're not doing any of that. So we did see a few of those dust devils or gust nados uh, Saturday, but now what we're looking at is the difference here. The tornado that brings about a funnel cloud. We can see this in two manners. It can start at the surface, spinning about, and then making its way up as that thunderstorm is growing. So is that gust NATO. As the two begin to meet, we have what some uh, call in the National Weather Service, other meteorologists also call it a land spout. You may have heard of a water spout. Water spouts occur over water. You see the funnel all the way up into the cloud. Now, this is what happened over land as well. There are so many different termina terminology, different terms for what these things are. But all you really need to know is that we're seeing a rotation going on. And that rotation, regardless of whether it's a dust devil, gust nato, or whether it's an actual tornado, whether it affects you as a person is what's most important and whether it's causing damage. Now, this one was uh, indicated as an EF0. It had no damage reported, no injuries reported. So yeah, we did call this a tornado without damage. So that's the difference there. We want you to know they're both damaging at this point. Here's some of the photos that came in. This is a very good photo here. Uh, Ken Roberts sending this in a very great one. You can see just how much is happening at the surface here with the spinning rotation. But you can see the funnel cloud. It does lead up into the storm system itself. And that's also what led to areas of hail. We did see a lot of heavy hail in Davis, even hail in Woodland. You can even see how beautiful that was with a rainbow just on the back end. So there is that hail that we also saw in Woodland. We appreciate you sending in your photos. Linda Jimenez, we saw some of that hail there. And these systems, they're massive. They really do bring in quite a bit of precipitation. And when we have tornadoes that lead to that, that's also the difference between the tornado and the gust nado. Those gusts, they're not bringing in hail. They're at the surface. They're not even connected to a funnel cloud at any point that leads into a thunderstorm. So there's your differences. You get some precipitation with the funnel cloud leading up to the cloud. The gust nados, the dust devils, they stay at the surface and bring out quite a bit of that dirt all about.